Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. It's finally happening, America, and it's all because of the Donald. Since the time when then-candidate Donald Trump announced his campaign on June 16, 2015, he spoke about how he wanted to close our borders to illegal aliens, fix the United States immigration system, and build a border wall. And although funding for the wall has been the toughest thing to get out of the Republicans in name only, Reno's, and the anti-American Democrats in Congress we are finally starting to see accomplishments. The Democrats seem to use illegal immigrants as pawns to oppose the president and as talking points against the right. President Trump has made it very clear what he wants to do. He wants a permanent solution to DACA, which includes a rigorous, but clear, path to citizenship. But only for people who actually deserve it. You might remember how he compelled Congress, especially Democrats, to put forward a plan to fix DACA. That resulted in a government shutdown. We know that Democrats don't care about DACA, or illegal immigrants. They are only using them as pawns to oppose the president. President Trump has made it very clear what he wants to do. He wants a permanent solution to DACA, which includes a rigorous, but clear, path to citizenship. But only for people of merit. He wants to end the illegal immigration that burdens our country. Democrats exploit the fear and desperation of illegals for political power. Liberals don't seem to care that millions of people suffer under the current situation, and are harmed by vile drug cartels. Oxios reported the specific details. The Republican Compromise Immigration Bill in the House would allow immigration officials to hold accompanied children in immigrant detention centers just like their parents, provide legal status for DACA recipients and authorize funding for a border wall according to the bill's summary. Why it matters, this is a complex bill that touches on border security, DACA, family migration and employment-based green cards. It's uncertain whether the bill has the votes to pass the House, but Rep. Steve Scalise's office announced that Republicans will start whipping votes tomorrow ahead of next week's vote. What to know? DACA, the bill provides special legal status for DACA recipients who have been in the U.S. at least 10 years were under 16 years of age when they arrived and are enrolled in school or have a high school diploma. The protection is renewable every six years, not a special path to citizenship. Child immigrants, the bill would allow children who are caught crossing the border illegally with their parents to remain in detention longer, which would mean they would not be forced to be separated from their parents while in immigrant detention centers. But, because of Attorney General Jeff Sessions' zero-tolerance policy, families will still be separated when the parents are prosecuted. The bill also limits the special immigrant juvenile visa to children who cannot be reunited with either of their parents because of abuse. Before, a child with even one abusive parents was eligible. The wall, the bill puts $25 billion toward Trump's wall along the southern border as well as a few other border security measures. Asylum, the bill would make it harder for asylum claims to be approved, requiring officials to determine that the claims of the asylum seeker are true. This comes as the Trump administration has faced a surge of asylum seekers. National Guard, authorizes the National Guard to assist in border security, including building barriers. Family migration, eliminates green card programs for married children of U.S. citizens as well the siblings of adult U.S. citizens, transferring those 88,400 green cards to a new merit-based program. Eliminates the diversity visa lottery, putting the 55,000 visas toward the merit-based program. Eliminates per-country caps for employment-based green cards. Not sure if giving DACA recipients, most of which are actually in their 30s is a good trade-off for the border wall. The wall should be funded just on national security concerns alone. And although there are good people amongst those crossing our border illegally, they still broke the law to get here and living in the United States of America isn't a human right. Sadly for some reason, the GOP thinks that if they give DACA amnesty they will get their votes, and that's not the case. Reagan signed amnesty in 1987 and we lost California forever. We will just have to wait and see how this whole thing plays out. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.